Okay, look. I love watching motorcycle footage as much as the next guy, but nothing kills the mood more than obnoxious wind noise. No matter how good the bike sounds, looks, or even how nice the scenery is with whatever I'm watching, wind noise absolutely takes me out of a video like nothing else. And I'm no exception to this either. The first couple videos I popped out when I first got my GoPro Hero 10, the wind noise was very much there, loud and proud. I thought, okay, how can I change this? The first thing I did was I bought one of those media mods. Not only does it have a better mic, but it has that foam screen that is meant to cut down wind noise. And while, yeah, it helps and works amazingly for like daily vlogs outside, it's not effective enough to cut that wind noise down on motorcycle riding videos to at least a manageable level. For months I thought, how can I go about fixing this really annoying issue? Well, the popular route was to hook a mic up from the media mod to either your jacket or your helmet. And that is exactly what I did not want to do. I didn't want any sort of wired setup or having to route the wires to my jacket or helmet whatever. Plus, I don't really talk much when I ride anyway, so the point of a lavalier mic made no sense to me for my personal use. Many months ago, I saw a guy somewhere, maybe Facebook, but it could have been YouTube, physically take material that is used in dead cats, microphone muffs, whatever you want to call them, and he cut them up, cut up all that material, and glued it around to where the mic was on the media mod. And I thought this was a very clever idea, and originally it was a route that I was going to take until I thought, hang on a second, let me look on Amazon and see if I can find an easier, cheaper method. And I know for a fact that compact audio recorders like the Zooms or the task cams have very small microphones. So maybe a dead cat for a zoom, for example, would work on something like this media mod with it being roughly around the same size. So there are a bunch of them on Amazon, and this is the one I ended up buying. It was only 10 bucks, and it's made for the Tascam model DR05. The dead cat is far larger than I anticipated. The hairs are quite long, and I ended up having to trim those hairs down quite a bit towards the front of the camera because they would show up on frame a little too often. To my surprise though, it fit perfectly over the media mod with that foam filter installed. It does fit without the foam filter, but it is a little bit loose, so I don't really think that's a good idea. And if you're wondering how this works during high speed situations, I didn't have any problems with it moving around or loosening up anyway. It stayed perfectly nice and snug, thankfully. Here's how the thing looks on two of my five helmets. Both of these that I'm showing you are SMK helmets, by the way, in case anyone is wondering. So the big question, of course, is how well does this additional dead cat work to block out that wind noise? I'll set up a few clips to give you all a proper idea of how the GoPro is like without the media mod, with the media mod, and of course, with that additional dead cat I got off of Amazon. The bike I'm going to be utilizing for most of this footage is my Yamaha Bolt C-Spec, primarily because it's loud as hell and it has no windscreen, so the sound and wind noise should be easier for the GoPro to pick up, basically putting the sound in a worst case scenario environment. It's worth pointing out that your helmet is also going to play a key role in wind noise. Having your visor and or vents by your mouth area open might introduce a whistle type noise that you may not even notice until you go ahead and watch that footage. Just something you should keep in mind.
Okay, so clearly the GoPro by itself picks up a ton of wind noise. The media mod and its original foam filter does help to cut out a chunk of the noise, but regardless if you have a mic set to the front or the rear setting, it's still not effective enough for motorcycle footage. Now, with that dead cat installed, the wind noise is further cut down. It's definitely not as noticeable or anywhere near annoying. Though again, it's hard for me to tell a discernible difference between the front or the rear mic setting on the medium mod. Maybe the engine and exhaust volume is a bit louder off that rear mic, but I think they do about the same in terms of cutting down that wind from blasting into the mic. There's still road noise that is audible, but it's just going to happen with an application like this either way. At the end of the day, is the additional dead cat thing perfect? Absolutely not. But it's without a doubt on a far more manageable level than without that dead cat. And for me, I'm 100% happy with this simple, cheap, easy application. I didn't have to buy any additional cords, a lavalier mic, adapters, whatever else, and because I'm always rocking different helmets, I don't have to deal with routing that mic anytime I want to swap out to a different helmet. But again, we have to keep in mind, I do not talk much at all when I'm riding, and I don't make traditional motorcycle vlogs where I'm having conversations with myself or the camera while I'm riding in real time. It's just not my thing. I'd rather just plan out what I'm going to talk about and dub it in later on a voiceover type thing, kind of like how I'm doing now, basically. But of course, this method of motorcycle content is somewhat unusual, really, and it may not work for you or whoever else is trying to make motorcycle-related content. Anyway, if you have any experience using something like this or even a better, not overly expensive option, I would absolutely love to hear it and share that with other viewers. Maybe even test those ideas out in a future video. Anyway, I hope this helped you in some way. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and of course, ride safe.